Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Sanjay and welcome to The Gentleman's Plate. Today we're making each. Each is an amazing Armenian salad that's easy to make, super healthy, and vegan. The base of the salad is bulgur, which Google tells me is parboiled crack wheat. It's like super healthy for you. And honestly, you can Google it if you want to find out all the important health benefits. Minerals like manganese, fiber, and some other stuff about heart health. Whatever, it's the grain that tabbouleh is made from. However, unlike tabbouleh, this dish gets its deep red color and delicious flavor from tomatoes and other spices. And you know we love spices here at the Gentleman's Plate. So let's jump right in. This is the bulgur we're using. It's fine or milled at coarseness number one. To begin, we need to wash and strain our bulgur. I'm just gonna rinse it like rice until the water runs clear and strain it in a fine sieve. If you don't have one like this, you can put it in a colander with some cheesecloth or muslin. Next we need one medium onion. I'll show you the chef's chop. We cut from the root to the tip. Always start north pole to south pole. Cut off the head, not the root, and peel off the skin. Give it a single slice through the middle, and a few slices in between. Oh, and uh, safety first, always make a claw to protect your fingers. Now cut horizontally and the onion pretty much cuts itself. Easy, right? And repeat. As for the greens, start with four green onions and slice them thinly. Remember to use claw hands for safety. And we can set these aside for later. Now, as for the parsley, I've already removed the bigger stems, but try to get most of the smaller ones too. It's okay to have some stems, just not all of them. Now, you can chop the parsley as rough as you want, but I'm not a fan of parsley, so I'll chop it smaller. This recipe calls for one and a half cups of parsley, but I'm just gonna use a half a cup today because, again, not too much of a fan. Set your pan to medium high and add three tablespoons of cooking oil. Add in your onions and saute for two to three minutes until slightly translucent. Add in your garlic and give it a quick stir, followed by salt, pepper, cayenne, paprika, and cumin. Stir this all together and let it cook for 30 seconds. Now we add in an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. followed by 12 ounces of water, or one and a half cans worth of water, if you're lazy like me. Now add in your tomato paste and let this come to a simmer. Once the sauce is gently boiling, we're gonna add in our bulgur and give it a good mix. We just wanna heat this through for two to three minutes so it's nice and warm. Now we wanna turn off the heat and let the grain steam. Add in your parsley, your green onions, and lemon juice. Give it a good mix, make sure you incorporate all the ingredients and cover it with the lid. Now we want to let this steam for at least 30 minutes, giving the bulgur a chance to absorb all that liquid. No peeking guys, we want this to finish off with the residual heat in the pan. Once the bulgur has finished steaming, you can fluff it up with a fork and give it a taste, adjusting for more salt or lemon juice as needed. You can serve the bulgur hot or cold, as a side dish or as a main dish. Some people serve it on a bed of lettuce, but I like letting it shine on its own. Go ahead and top it with a little extra parsley and green onions, maybe garnish with a few lemon wedges, and you can finish it off with a little olive oil if you like. guys this dish is simple clean and easy each makes a great side dish you can prepare it with vegan chicken tenders and some roasted veggies for a complete meal 
or bring it as a fun new side dish at your next barbecue. Either way, you can find all the exact recipe details and measurements at my blog at www thegentlemansplate.com. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know how your each turned out. Thanks for watching.